Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you effective habits of successful consultants. I'd filmed a video talking about things that if you didn't like, you wouldn't be a good consultant. And I'm sure some of you might have been, you know, on the fence or even some of you might be consultants now or about to become consultants and just want to know what skills you need to be an effective consultant. So if that's your case, this is the video for you. My name is Stephanie and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. So as a management consultant, I've worked, worked with a lot of big firms for the past eight, nine years as a contractor. In the course of my working, I've you know liaised with tons of consultants. And then when I decided to go into full-time work, I went in as a consultant. So as a consultant now, I have worked for two years and I can tell you the habits that would make a stellar consultant because obviously I have people who I look up to and with experience, I already know some of these traits are what you need to be a dope consultant. The first one is trust. Maintaining trust and establishing trust. Your client is the most important when you're a consultant, not even your firm. Because otherwise you could be self-employed or you could be fully employed with a consulting firm and then they send you to work with a client. That client that you've been sent to, their interests should be above your interest, should be above the interest of your firm. Integrity is something you shouldn't joke with. So obviously that someone trusts you is because you put their interest on top. Then what you say you provide and then your deliverables also match what your mouth is saying. You know, your mouth can be running sales pitch. There are ones they say, uh, what can you do your job? Ch -ch 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 talking, talking, talking. I can do this, bring heaven down to you. Your actions and outcomes, not even just actions because you can be working harder, you're not working smart. The interest of your clients is number one. Integrity, what you say you should be doing and what you have promised to do, that's the outcome, should also match what you said you would do. Number two, as I said in number one, your client's interest is number is the first thing you know that should be at the topmost of your mind. How does your client make money? You should understand how the client you're serving makes money. How you can do it is by keeping up to date, reading stuff. Like you're a consultant and you can be in any industry. So whatever industry you are, try and read up about it just because that would help you put your best in the right direction for your client. Understand how their financials are. Well, this depends on what exactly you're doing for them, but just knowing like their annual reports, where they're trying to go towards for the next year or the next period, just giving a basic understanding of that would also help you perform as a good consultant. And you might be just be working with a certain department or two from your client, but just understanding the operations, how things happen there, will give you a better way to communicate to whoever you're dealing with in your client's organization. Number three point is very similar to the first one, number one, which is your client's interest being at the back of your mind and at the forefront of your thinking and actions. The so number three is making your client's success your own. Obviously at the end, at the beginning of a year, at the beginning of wherever, you already know what success means to you as an individual. Once you join an organization, their success should be part of what success should mean to you in that period of your life. Just aligning your thoughts towards the fact that okay i want this client to succeed it will show in your actions with the work you do for that client what does success look for my client what are the things i can do to align my actions to get them to where they want to be what role can i play to ensure they actually get to you know that success just taking their success as your success is the simple english for this point number four will be focusing on value and then results as well. So what value are you adding and then what is the outcome to it? Sometimes this thing is very, very immeasurable, but you can think backwards, like what's the result we want? And then what value would that bring? And then what would it entail for you to add that value to the company? So whether in form of reputation, in form of numbers. Um, the fifth one is being able to make things simple like break down things okay you're coming to a project what is what are we fixing here was there something that was was there something here that was done wrongly are we trying to you know start doing something else a lot of times as consultants you're actually trying to solve a problem you're trying to fix something that you know wasn't done right or you're trying to just guide the, the client due to the experience you have you know to get to a certain goal so simplify it to the best possible way what are we trying to do are we trying to you know remediate these people properly are we trying to recalculate the bills are we trying you know just simplify it to the barest minimum 
that's a very good um, quality of a, a consultant because even when you're now talking to your subordinates or your colleagues or even your bosses you, you already know this is as simple as what these people want and then this is what we are going to do to get to those levels even during the project if you see there's a problem here we're not able to do this how are we going to solve it like once you know something at the simplest level you'll be able to create ways to make things better and easier for everyone working so the ability to simplify a problem is a very good one for a consultant this next point is less is more especially when it comes to talk one of my colleagues will tell you this like when we're having meetings they ask you a question and then you start explaining your motive you explain what you're doing why you're doing it why you did not do it who did mm -mm. as a consultant to be smart say what is necessary there's only way someone asks you a question and then as i'm asking you they're answering it somehow you just respond accordingly like you just follow the less you say the more for you the stronger and more confident you look once you start explaining the reason why you did the reason why you did not you're already looking very shaky especially if you're not even someone who is eloquent you already just look like this one is just trying to make an excuse just say what is important or what is needed at the point let's just say okay you, ne you need to send something to stage three right now you're in stage one and there's there's a stage and okay for you to get to stage three you need to do one and two but in two there's something that should be done there you haven't even done your one completely you've not done your two obviously you've not done your two and then you're supposed to be in three and the person and there's two that you sent something to be done when they ask you something, you can just be like, is that stage two doing this, that, that? You can't now start saying, eh, in my stage one, I'm still doing this, then I'm still going to do my stage. You already know stage two that is not in your hands, it's been, it's, 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 it's there and they've not completed it. So you just say, it is in stage two. That's okay. You don't have to start explaining. I haven't even done stage one. Then I will now meet you. Do you get what I'm saying? So, so these are my habits of a highly effective consultant. Do you have any points to leave below if you're a consultant or you're someone who has experienced working with consultants? Please drop it in the comment because I really love to read from you. Also, if you haven't seen the video where I spoke about, sorry, I need to click this. Video, I talked about, you know, things that if you don't like, leave consultants in, go and read it. And then if you really sure you want to be a consultant just follow these effective steps and i'll see you at the top please click the like button because it helps the video go around drop a comment as i said i love to read from you follow me on instagram at metro gypsy i create content on the go there share this video with your friends your family and your enemies i'll see you on the next i have a call now i'll see you on the next episode guys bye bye